Now we're going to see more of the same, more sunshine. Have you ever seen those people doing paddle boarding and wondered what that's all about? Well, Kasha is doing some investigating. It's a great day for stand-up paddle boarding, and northern stand-up paddle boarding isn't just about the board and the paddle. Brent, what's happening right now? My paddle fit class is coming in for their fourth exercise in this round, paddling right to the beach, running up, doing five surf burpees, getting right back down on their paddle boards onto the water. Yeah. No other class combines on water and on land like paddle fit does. Look at this. This is so intense. And I mean, I know these folks do this early in the morning as well. A lot of them are instructors. They're fit. They're having fun. And it's a great day. And the next few days are going to be ideal for this type of activity. And I just feel awful watching all of this activity. But I'm sure they feel great. Back to you inside. <laughs> Whatever it takes, I love originality. Whatever gets people moving, right? High pressure's in place across the Great Lakes for the weekend, so, but there's a lot of time that has to pass between now and then, right? Let's go to Kasha. She is paddle boarding today. So this is my take two of stand-up paddle boarding. Last time I attempted this on Lake Ontario a year ago, I fell in. Today we're on Lake Simcoe, and I noticed the water is so much warmer, so that's great. Brent, I'm having a good time. I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna fall. But why must everybody try this? Why do you love stand-up paddle boarding so much? It's kind of that sensation of surfing, being able to walk on water. It's yeah. different than a canoe or anything, sit down, you're standing up, you're out, you got some vitamin D, you're out in nature, and you can explore. Yeah, and it's a great workout too. Last time I tried this, I was sore all day too. Uh, but it's just so fun, calm and serene. Today is a great day for this type of thing. Temperatures in the mid-20s in southern Ontario feels closer to even 30. So it's okay if I fell in. Back to you inside. I don't know about that because our technicians, Kasha, are probably a little bit nervous about losing their microphone. <laughs> That's possible. Just don't fall in. You'll save yourself some trouble.